हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ट्रिकोपीडिया द डिक्शनरी ऑफ ट्रिक्स एन इंटीग्रल ऑफ द फॉर्म जीरो से पाई बाई टू साइन पावर एम एक्स कॉस पावर एन एक्स डी एक्स इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट डायरेक्टली विद क्वेश्चन एंड नॉट ओनली विद क्वेश्चन इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर इंजीनियरिंग कोर सब्जेक्ट एज वेल एंड आई सीन दट स्टूडेंट स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग इट बाई ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक आइडेंटिटी दट इज गोइंग टू बी अ लेंदी प्रोसेस हेयर सो द वालीज इंटीग्रल फॉर्मुला इज द सिंपलेस्ट वे टू डील विद दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम नाउ वॉट आई हेव ऑब्जर्व दैट इवन वालीज इंटीग्रल फॉर्मुला स्टूडेंट्स आर नॉट एबल टू रिमेबर एंड दट इज वाई आई ब्रिंग इट इन द ट्रिकोपीडिया सी बिकॉज इट इज ऑफ द फॉर्म एम माइ Minus one, m minus three, etc. N minus one, n minus three, etc. M plus one, m plus n minus two, etc. So I am going to give it a very simplified form, a simplified name. If by introducing the concept of double factorial, yes, guys, you must have heard about factorials. But what are double factorials? Okay, let me tell you. N double factorial. If I talk about, it is going to be the continuous product of alternate numbers from n, n minus two, like factorial n, n minus one, n minus two, n minus three. All the numbers from n to one. It is all the alternate numbers, right? Okay. Now whether it is two or one depends. If you start from even, you will end at even two. You will start from odd, you will end at one. That is the odd number. So ten double factorial, ten, eight, six, four, two. Automatically you stop at two. Multiply all of them, you get your answers. What is nine double factorial? Nine alternate seven, five, three, and then you stop at three forty-five into one as well. If you want, you can write down into one, but that is irrelevant. Okay, it doesn't affect the answer. So guys, let's quickly move ahead and understand the Wallis integral formula in terms of double factorial. So in terms of double factorial, my formula is sine power m x cos power n x integral from zero to pi by two is m minus one double factorial n minus one double factorial upon M plus n double factorial into k, where k will be pi by two if both the powers are even. If m and n are even, otherwise k will be taken as one. And not only this, we can take individually only sine power m or cos power n. Okay, let's make only power n. Let's remove the n. Okay, so whether it is sine power n x or cos power n cos power n x, both the answers will be equal, and it is given by n minus one double factorial upon n double factorial into k, where k again will be pi by two if the total power n is even. Otherwise, k will be taken as one. Okay, let's apply on question and understand more about these. tricks yeah here it is let's take a question here yes integral 0 se pi by 2 sin power 4 cos power 7x so what is the value of m here m is equal to 4 n is equal to 7 one of the power is odd and because of that odd power k will be taken as 1 k will be taken as 1 so it is going to be m minus 1 4 minus 1 double factorial n minus 1 that is 7 minus 1 double factorial upon m plus n double factorial into k which is 1 right now this is 3 double factorial 3 double factorial is 3 into 1 6 double factorial 6 into 4 into 2 11 double factorial 11 9 7 6 5 3, sorry 11 9 7 5 3 only odd numbers the result has been calculated calculations you can also deal with i want to tell you the technique of solving it hope you are getting it let's try one more of this kind Okay, now sine square. Sorry, this is sine square cos power six x. Okay, have a look into this. So, what is the value of m and n? This is m. This is n. Both are even this time, and because both are even, because both are even, what is going to be the result? Okay, the k will be pi by two this time because both are even, and then the result is two minus one double factorial, six minus one double factorial upon two plus six double factorial. This is one. Five double factorial is five into three into one, and then eight double factorial is eight six four two alternate numbers. K is pi by two. Solving, you get this final answer, right? What about only sine or cos? Sine power m or cos power n? Have a look into this. Sine square x or cos square x dx? Okay, both will give the equal and answers, and the answer should be. Answer should be how much? Two minus one double factorial upon two double factorial. N minus one double factorial upon n double factorial into k, where k will be pi by two because of the even power again. Right, so one double factorial is one, two double factorial is two, and whole multiplied by pi by two. Answer is the pi by four. Okay, moving ahead to one more of this kind. Now here in Wallis integral formula, you must have noted that the power is sorry, the integration limit is definitely zero to pi by two. If it is minus pi by two to pi by two, then what will you do? Then definitely you don't apply the Wallis directly, but you can apply some uh, property of integration. Like we all know that sine square x sine minus theta is minus sine theta. Sine th minus theta is minus sine theta, but you are going to take the square eventually. And when you take the square, okay, minus sine x's whole square will be sine square x, and then f minus x is equal to f x. That is why it's an even function. And for even function, we know integral minus a to a is twice integral zero to a. Okay, so twice of pi by four because pi by four is the previous. Uh, Question answer, no? so I have taken directly. The answer is pi by two, right? If you get the question of this kind, don't calculate by values. Answer is directly zero, sir. Why? Okay, here it is a property based question. Integral minus a to a of odd function. Now sine minus theta is minus sine theta. So if you take the cube, minus one ka cube is minus one only, na? Minus one ka cube is definitely minus one. So this is going to be a odd function, and because of odd function, integral minus a to a f x d x is always zero. 
On the other hand, if the limit is of this kind, look into this, 0 se pi, it is still not pi by 2, you can't apply values directly, but some trigonometric techniques. It is not minus pi by 2 se pi by 2 also. So what I will do here, guys, just pay attention. What I am going to do here is, okay, f of x is sin power 4x. So what is f pi minus x? Let's try. Upper limit pi, then minus x. So sin 180 minus theta is sin theta, we know. So ultimately, we again get sin x power 4, or that is again fx. f pi minus x is equal to fx f2a minus x is equal to fx and whenever f2a minus x is equal to fx, integral 0 say 2a is twice integral 0 to a. It is twice integral 0 to a. I again get 0 say pi by 2 sin power 4. Now, n minus 1 double factorial upon n double factorial into pi by 2 because even power a pi by 2, right? We just solve the calculations 3 double factorial upon 4 double factorial. Okay, sorry, into 1 will not come and hence our answer is closed. Okay, very, very simple. And guys, if you have really enjoyed, do mention in the comment box, how do you like this Tricopedia? And also mention one more thing in the comment box, one homework activity for all of you. Very simple, integral sin power 5x or cos power 5x for the limit 0, say pi by 2. And do mention in the comment box, our team will revert you whether your answer is correct or not correct. Solve it within few seconds from the Wally's integral formula now. Right, hope you have got it. Thank you, stay safe and take care and stay subscribed to Baiju's Example YouTube channel.